Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to spending quality time with your girl, a positive done. Today is all about going as a group for a group night or day out. It just depends. You might decide to do a group day out or a group night out. But most times in summertime, when you want to do a group day out, that's the best because you can start it during the day and just continue all over the night and just have a good old time. So today, my main idea was to talk about how we can go out as, as a group and just have a good old time. For those of us who are married, we might want to go as couples. For those who are not married, they might want to just go with their boyfriends and just have a good old time. But the main idea is just not to go just you and your boyfriend, is to also go with your friends. I've made segments that have talked about day night out, which is just the two people that are in the relationship, but sometimes it gets a little boring when you have to just do things just with your partner. Sometimes you just want your girlfriends to also come with you and have a good time with your husband or whoever you're dating and just spend that group time together. So today, that's what I'm talking about, how we can go out with our friends and have a good old time with their partners or with um, or we having a good old time with our friends. So now let's get started. When we talk about going out with our girlfriends and have a nice time, it's all about, you know, enjoying each other's company. Because like I talked about when we go um, on the night out with our partners, it's all about reconnecting. Reconnecting is all about bringing more romance into our marriages or our relationship. And I've given tips and ideas of how we can do that. But today I want to say when we go out with our friends, it's also a whole different environment that we are creating. Because I tell you what, when it comes to spending time with your girlfriends with your men, it's a time that will learn. Because I always say nobody has the best ideas. We learn from one another. We pick up ideas. We pick up tips from the way our friends do stuff. So when you go out with your friends, with your husbands, you see the way they talk to their husbands, you see the way they connect, the way they behave. Sometimes that might be something that's lacking in your marriage or in your relationship. So you might learn from them and pick up something that you might decide to come and put into your own relationship. So let's never take for granted that whole thing of learning or pick up ideas from others. And it's okay to even tell your friend, do you know this thing has changed in my marriage because of what I saw you and your husband did when we went out as a group? Because sometimes when you're honest, and you're sincere, people feel that energy, I want to connect more with you. So I have that whole feel of wanting to just share the good moments that I have with my man, also with my friends. It's just a good feel. Okay, when we talk about going for group outings like that, I like to say, rather than do it a day night out, it's better day night out, mostly just couples doing it their way. But when you're going for a group date out, I always like to go during the daytime. Because then you have, if it's summertime, you have all the time to share with your friends, with your man, and just have a good old time. So you're not going to spend just one hour and you come and say, oh my God, we had a good time. No, it's going to be spending quality, long hours together, long conversations, long activities where you guys can really understand one another and enjoy each other's company. So if we decide that we're going, we're going to do it during the daytime, we might want to just look all fancy and just, you know, wear our hats that are just gonna give us that whole glam feeling and when we go out there as a group with our friends we're wearing a fabulous hat because like i say it's summertime and during summertime people want to show off their fashion so and it's something that you know you and your girlfriends probably have anticipated for a while so you've gone out and bought all this beautiful and fabulous stuff that you want to show off and it might also create more conversation among you guys so everybody's looking all fancy and beautiful and let me tell you men pick more um attraction for their partner when other people are looking at them and telling them that oh my god your wife looks fabulous your wife looks good, good. even if that um that is coming from your girlfriends. You know, your man also feels like, wow, she got it. There's something about her. See the way her friends are admiring the way she looks. So don't ever feel funny and say, oh, I just don't want to show off. It's okay to show off if that's your personality. If that's your personality, when you're going out there, your girlfriends already know you. So do yourself. Put up the front that you've always wanted to put up because that's who you are. For those who like to be simple too, you don't have to do what your friend is doing. She might decide to look all fabulous and wonderful and you just decide to be simple. Everybody looks good in their own rights. And like I always say, we all are queens. It don't matter how you're doing it. Whichever way you're doing it, all women are beautiful, all women are queens in their elements. So when you're going out with your girlfriends on something like that, we've already talked about the dress and the fabulous look. Now, I like when women have to be the ones to plan 
what they want to go out there to do. Because men always fall in. When they have their liquor or their beer, they are good. But women, we pick on little things that really make us feel good. So the women should be the ones to plan wherever they want to go. If you guys are into wine, you guys might want to do a wine tasting because that we can do a little bit earlier on in the day and eat some real nice food. And then when you guys are done doing that, you can plan the next section of the day, with my, which might be you guys going into maybe um, a nightclub for those who want to do clubbing. Because after dressing all fabulous like this, you don't want to go into a movie theater. That's not the right outfit for a movie theater. This is an outfit to go out there and feel glamorous and do beautiful, wonderful stuff. So for me, I'm going to recommend a nightclub because you want to feel that whole vibe when you guys were young and you guys were running from one nightclub to the other and just having a good old time. Because the main idea is to take back that memory when you guys were young, how you fell in love, so you can get back there and just continue to do those same things that just build that energy of romance. So nightclub time when you guys go into this nightclub it's okay you guys are friends so it's okay to let your mind say okay can i dance with your friend and all or not because you have to do things like this only with people that you really love and trust so that whole feeling of being uncomfortable and say i don't know if i feel good with my mind dancing with her then that's not your friend so go with your girlfriends out there and just have a good old time with your man and you guys can just round up the evening with beautiful you know stories and reconnect and just enjoy each other's company where you can also pick ideas and things from your friends from the way they're doing things with their own partners i always say that when we talk about going on group activities like this it's a learning time and let's all be open to learn let's all be open to even ask questions if we have to if there's something that we see that our friends are doing that is good let's ask questions that can also benefit our relationship there's one thing I'm going to say with going on outings like this, because I've watched even on TV, group of women that have done that. And instead of going to have a good old time, they come back and they have issues. Please focus on your mind when it comes to admiration, focus on your mind. And also, don't bring conversations that are instead going to create a spark. Conversations that are instead going to create, you know, issues among you guys. Because sometimes people know what's going on in other people's marriages, and that's not the time to bring it up. Because I don't want people to say, oh, my marriage had problems because I picked up tips from Eposizitron about going out for group outings. And now I see my husband has started having admiration for my friend, you know, or I see my friend brought up a conversation that instead brought problems in my marriage. We don't want that. This is supposed to be a time of bonding, a time of showing real sisterly love or brotherly love to one another. So when you go there, focus on your mind. It's okay to have conversation and mingle, then focus on your mind and also don't bring conversations that are all, instead of bringing you guys together, it's instead gonna break you guys. Please, let's use this for the right reason and let's just enjoy each other's company and make good of the time that we have with one another. I always say that when we live as humans, we think that we have a whole lot of life ahead of us. But as we do these little activities, these are the memories that we are creating, that we're going to take with us wherever we are going. Whether we have to change locations or we get too old to do these things, these are the things that we're going to remember and say, oh, when I was young, I had a very nice time with my girlfriends, we did fun stuff, and we had a good old time with each other. So please, you all know about how my shows roll. My shows are all about making people learn something that they can incorporate in their lives and make their lives meaningful. And like I say, my style might not be somebody else's style. I'm all about glamour, beauty, fancy, enjoyment, and luxury. So for those that feel like it's over the top for them, that's fine too. But for me, I feel like the quality of life is how you make it. And that's the way I want to make my life, to have fun and also tell other people how they can have fun. If one person can pick up something from everything that I've talked about or everything that I'm all about, then I've achieved my purpose. So thanks again once more for spending quality time with your girl. Apple sees it on and bye for now. Bye for now. Bye for now. Bye for now.